Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so here we are. Final five games. Did we uh, did we think we were going to be in this position? Uh, did we think we were? Gonna... I would have. Uh, I would have said probably at the start of pre-season that I knew we had the, the players to be in this position in terms of competing at the top of uh, top of national one. Um, maybe a year earlier than expected. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, you know the boys have done themselves proud. I think. And, uh, so we've given themselves a shot and something to fight for for the last five games. So it's good to be in the position. OK, and we've got Cinderford visiting. They're, they're currently in fifth. You know, we're in third. There's not a lot of points between us. Um, we did beat them down at their place. How's it uh, looking for this weekend, do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's always a challenge uh, playing against Cinderford, uh, as it is with many sides in the league, really. Um, big pack, uh, set piece is going to be going to be key for us. Uh, we'll do a bit, bit more work on that this evening. Um, you know, we've had a couple of injuries at this stage of the season. You're going to have that, and that's that's where you need your strength and depth in the squad as well. Um, but no, everything's looking positive. Obviously, we've had a bit of a break for, for a couple of weeks um, with the uh, with the weekend off and the, the our weekend for the OEs. Yeah. Um, so the boys should be refreshed, ready to go. And uh, yeah, I think everyone's just excited to get back out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, there's been this whole thing with only one team going up, but then maybe two if Ealing win their appeal and stuff are the boys even bothered about stuff like that or they just want to win we're just going to stick to uh, stick to what we've done all season um, and just go through the same sort of processes that we, that we do um, yeah there, there's obviously and it's the old room, and that sort of at the minute, but, um, you know it, it, it's there but you just got to maintain the performances that you've been putting in week in week out uh, as long as you stick to what I say, the, the processes that are in place, um, the things that Toe and Briggsy work on with the guys and and the, the lads take ownership for, you know. So, um, yeah, you, you would be wrong to say there's not something there to play for, um, but we'll just go week to week, the old cliche, James. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. And then uh, just on this, although it is freezing cold, it isn't it great to see all these kids out just, uh, you know, on a, on a Thursday evening. I know they were out on Tuesdays and... And now we've got touch rugby on Wednesdays as well. It's great to see Carrington being used every every yeah. night of the week, isn't it? Yeah, but it's brilliant. I think um, that that club atmosphere, the the whole long sale FC um, aspect that we're, we're trying to build at the club is is certainly there now. You know, and uh, there's a lot of work going on uh, off uh, off the field as well, which um, you know it's coming to fruition. It's it's good to see, really good to see. Okay, brilliant. Good luck this weekend, and uh, we'll see you all down there. Cheers. Man. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.